Well done. Hello, I'm here with Ron Maysack. How are you today? I'm very good. Okay, I'd like to ask you some questions. That's okay with you? It's fine with me. Okay, okay well, uh, what was it like working with Angela Lansbury on Murder, She Wrote? Well, it was like driving a Rolls Royce. It was smooth. She was the most professional, uh, the most lovable, the most giving actress I think I've ever worked with. I never saw her angry. I never saw her unprepared. And I never saw her late. And obviously she's done something right. She was nominated for 16 Emmys and uh, won five Tonys on Broadway. So it was a joy for me to work with her. That's good. Mm -hmm. hey, how'd you get started in this business? I was the class clown. I was, I was the show up in school. I was a pretty good athlete. And I had an older brother, uh, four years older. And in order to hang around with him, I had to be as good as his friends were or better. So I would stay and practice harder and, and uh, try to find ways out. And I found humor was a good way to get out of things. Mm -hmm. I once had a teacher tell me if she could have stopped laughing at me, she'd have failed me. <laughs> Who was your acting coach? My acting coach in college was a man named H. Adrian Rayner. He was a protege of John Gielgud and a graduate of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. And when he knew that I had the potential to do it professionally, he told me flat out, I'm going to be five times as hard on you as I am anyone else in the class. And, and it paid off. All right, that's good. If you could give advice to anybody who is starting the acting business, what would you say? Learn your craft. Learn what you want to do. Uh, study things. Read out loud. Because nowadays you have to go in and be able to read cold. Now writers who don't act sometimes will type, I am going to the store. Those are the words, I am going to the store. But people don't say that. They say, I'm going to the store. So you, if you read out loud, you get the, the, uh, the experience of being able to read swiftly, read the words correctly, but then make them real. Of all the roles that you played, what was your favorite? Well, in the theater, I had two, uh, actually three. I, I did Cicchini in Tea House of the August Moon, which I loved. I did two roles in Mr. Roberts. I did Ensign Pulver in one company, and I did Mr. Roberts in the other company. I enjoyed that very much. On television, I would have to say, even though I had my own series, I would have to say it was the sheriff on Murder, She Wrote, because people walk up to me every day and want to know what Angela Lansbury was really like. Okay. Are you doing any stage work? Yes. I, I wrote a one-man show on Mark Twain. I did that through research. I mean, we didn't have the internet when I was your age. And in uh, doing research on Mark Twain for the movie I'm going to do, which is a science fiction, action, adventure, comedy, drama, mystery with historical overtones. But it has nothing to do with his real life. The play, I, I, I discovered I could find out things that he said that nobody else knew. So in my play, I don't say everything that you think you know he said. I say things that he really said that nobody knows about. One of my favorite lines is, that he said was, I do believe our Heavenly Father invented man because he was disappointed in the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> now that tells you exactly what his thoughts were. So who else is in this? Me. It's a one-man show. It's a one-man show. That way I have no one to blame but myself. Wow. I always love it when people, the people will say, well, you can't do that. And I say, why not? And they say, well, Hal Holbrook does that. And I said, well, then I guess Richard Burton and Jude Law now and Barry Morris should have never done Hamlet because Hamlet's done every year by different actors. So you bring something different to it, right. and I will do that. Right. Well, that's all to say. It was good meeting you. Nice was, meeting you. And it's good to see you. My name is Richard Gobeck, and thank you for watching. Oh, very good. Well done, lad. Thank you. Two thumbs up. He's good. He's good. <laughs>